Guess what we're doing today? You guys have been requesting them. We haven't done one in a while. So today we are making a new Kong stuffing recipe. Now, if you don't have one of these for your dogs, I will have some uh, Amazon affiliate links down below for these Kong toys. These are awesome to have for your dogs. This is actually a senior Kong. I also have the extreme Kongs and then I have some of the regular red Kongs as well. So I will put some links to those down below. We're gonna make beef stew Kong stuffing recipe. I think that'll be pretty fun. And if you guys are looking for more fun recipes for your Kongs, for your dogs, there will be a link up in the cards and down in the video description below. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell to turn on all notifications so you know whenever we put up new videos. Oh, it's the biggest yawn ever! But now, we're gonna get to preparing some stuff. What do you think? You ready to prepare some stuff? You ready to prepare some stuff? Let's do it! All right, so to prepare this recipe, we are going to need some beef. I'm actually using cut up stew meat. You can use lean hamburger. You can pretty much use whatever you want, but today I'm using some cut up stew meat. You're going to need a carrot, a stalk of celery. The carrot's escaping! Here, we'll see. Wanna eat the carrot? She's like, no, you wanna eat it? I, I had a feeling you would try. You would like to try it too, wouldn't you? Like, mmm, I would try a raw carrot. <laughs> so anyway, a carrot and then a potato. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dice all of these up. And then we're going to show you the next step. What do you think? Here. Would you like... <laughs> By the way, if you're not comfortable feeding your dogs raw meat, don't do it. We are going to cook this for the recipe. But the girls have all had raw before. So they'll get, they can have a little taste. Mmm, is that good? That's grass-fed beef right there. No, that's for Oakley. Gosh, don't try to take Oakley's. <laughs> anyway, let's prepare this stuff. Okay, so we have gone and we have diced up our celery, diced up our potatoes, and diced up our carrots. And the meat is, you know, small sized. And now we're going to take all of these ingredients, we're going to put them in a pan, and we're going to just barely cover them with water. Let's see. I know you will eat a carrot. Will you eat a carrot? Oh, she ate it. Well, shall we eat a carrot? No. What if we dip the carrot in the meat? Now will you eat it? <laughs> no? No? Here. How about you have a little piece of meat? There you go. All right. Okay, we are going to go ahead and put this in a pan. With everything in the pan, we have it on the stove, we are going to now cook it on medium for probably about 30 minutes or so, just until everything gets a little bit soft. I do also want to mention now, before I forget, do not add any seasonings to this. They don't need any seasonings. There are a lot of seasonings that dogs can't have, so just to be safe, don't add any. Because we're doing it this way, the natural flavors from the meat and all the vegetables are going to make a good stock for us anyway. So you don't have to add any seasoning to it. We're going to go ahead and start cooking this. You guys got to wait. You got to wait. We're making stew. You got to wait. So everything is looking amazing. The juice is a nice color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to thicken that broth a little bit. And you can do that by just using a little bit of cornstarch. Follow the instructions on the back. You mix a little bit of cornstarch with a little bit of water, and then you're gonna bring this to a boil and it should slowly thicken. We're gonna do that real quick and show you guys what it looks like. I figured you guys would run in here as soon as I start talking. It's not ready yet and it's way too hot to eat. So we're gonna thicken it first. So before I actually thicken it, I picked out a couple of the potatoes which are nice and soft and I'm gonna take one of each of these potatoes and I'm going to plug these holes on the bottoms of the Kong so that when we put all of our stuff in it, it doesn't drip all out the bottom. See, just plug the hole so that everything doesn't fall out. As you can see, this is now nice and thickened. It looks really good. It looks just like stew, only it's for dogs. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let the stew cool just a little bit, and then I'm going to scoop it into the Kongs. Now you can scoop it in there and then go ahead and give it to your dogs. Just make sure again that it is cool enough for them to eat, but that's gonna make quite a big mess and they're gonna be able to eat it pretty quick actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop it into the Kongs and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer 
uh, probably for about two to three hours. You don't really have to freeze it for super long. You just want it to get a little bit hard or you can freeze it overnight if you want to, either way. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop this in here and uh, stick them in the freezer. I know, you still gotta wait. I told you you had to wait till it cooked and now you gotta wait till it gets cold. I'm sorry, you gotta have patience. And there we have it. The Kongs are stuffed. We're gonna put them in the freezer. We have a little bit left and I'm just gonna put that in a container and uh, over the next few days, I can actually use it as a food topper if I want. Or we can stuff another Kong once these are empty. What do you think of that? All right, let's put them in the freezer. Well, I guess while it's freezing, you can have a bite. Want a bite? You have to give me the spoon back though. How about you, want a bite? <laughs> All right, let's go find Oakley and give her a bite. You want a bite too? <laughs> uh, okay, it'll be frozen pretty soon and you can have more. But I, I think they already think it's good. All right, it's been a couple of hours. The Kongs are fairly frozen. Let's see here. Here you go, Shelby. Do you like one? Shelby's like, I will take this one. Oakley's like, hold on, I'll get my own. Memphis here. You want one? You got... I'm, we've had, there you go, you take it. I'm getting it for you, Oakley. Come here, come over here, over here. There you go, because I don't want you to end up staying right there. There you go, there you go. What do you think, huh? I got squeaky boots on. Oakley's like, oh man, it's a beef stew Kong. One of the things I do want to point out when you're making Kong treats like this and you fully fill them up, you are adding quite a bit of calories to your dog's uh, diet. So this is actually their lunch instead of their regular lunch. They get to have their Kongs. My dogs eat three times a day, so this will work out perfect. What do you think? Does it, look, does it taste amazing? Memphis is like, I got this, guys. There's so much fun stuff in this. I'm going to get it all out. <laughs> Are you, are you figuring it out? Is it good? They're not frozen, frozen salad because they were only in the freezer for about maybe two and a half hours. So they're kind of like freezies more than anything else. I think they like them. <laughs> All right, you guys will let us know down in the comments below if you're gonna try making one of these for your dogs. As I said earlier in the video, up in the cards and down in the video description below, there will be links to more of our Kong stuffing videos, plus other treat videos that we have done in the past. As always, if you have a suggestion for something you'd like to see us make, leave it down in the comments below. <laughs> Shelby's like, I'm going to get this out of here in a hurry. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, as always, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye, guys. Oakley's like, I'm figuring this out. <laughs> so it may have taken her just a little bit longer than the other dogs, but she figured it out. She's like, oh, lay down, hold with paw, and lick. <laughs> oh, it's hard work, huh? She's like, hard work, but totally worth it.